Hey right guys, Trophy Reacts here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 1 of The Vampire Diaries Season 6. We have made it all the way to the 6th season. We still have, including this season, 3 to go. So we still have quite the journey. Uh, like I said, I'm going to up the pace from this season onwards with the originals. I'm just moving out. Uh, how long till I move out? 5 days? From recording no maybe six days from recording this so we'll uh get that pace going when i've got all settled in there for sure because we need to get a move on with it <laughs> again if it was just this i'd be fine but because we have the originals as well we really need to get a move on or we're going to be here forever but uh yeah i enjoyed season five well mm, i did i did enjoy it i think it was the weakest season that we've had for sure but um i'm curious what they're going to do with season six now especially because of how they ended things uh some people have described kind of what went on with that where because the other side doesn't exist anymore like it's not going to be as simple as they can just bring them both back to life like i assume the season is going to be them to well maybe not the entire season god i hope not it's going to be bonnie and damon trying to get back but it does if i'll let i'll give the vampire does one thing if like seeing the other side and like that's gone now so that's the last we see of those characters who were like saying goodbye for the hundredth time fine that feels like their official death i guess but Still, it's like when Grams is saying goodbye for the hundredth time, it just doesn't really have an effect. So I still stand by that, and I still stand by that they bring back characters way too much in the show. But if that is the last we see of them, hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a quick Q&A. We don't have many questions, for the because I put in the same post for Vamp Diaries and the originals. So I'll just need to figure out which ones of these are for the Vamp Diaries. Then we'll do the originals ones in Season 2, Episode 1 of that. And then we'll do a tier list, which I have 19 characters to go through, but we'll do that fairly quickly as well i think i think you have a general idea of how i feel about most of the characters at this point but um starting with edward who asks for the vampire diaries what are your thoughts on the bonnie storyline for the season bonnie is always every, at the end of every season i feel the same with bonnie where i'm like really good character really well acted but so underused and just given some of the most not boring i won't say boring stories i think she's given good stories but it, a lot of the time it feels like the same thing where it's like she's just kind of on the sideline give her some trauma and then we'll bring her in to do a spell forget about her for five apps bring her in give her some trauma do a spell it's just like rinse and repeat do that a hundred times and it's that's kind of been the cycle with bonnie so yeah her dad died in like the was it the first episode of season five so that happened um so that happened and then just sidelined for most of the thing and then she had like the witches the, the, the two most boring characters in the season uh which we'll get to like kind of talking to them and trying to even that was like a midway through and then being used for some spells and then saying bye to grams and then has a relationship with jeremy i think i really don't know because it doesn't seem like they actually interact that much but uh yeah, Bonnie, like I said, very likable character, but just completely underused yet again. I've, I've given up hope, thinking that they'll uh, make the most of Bonnie. I mean, hopefully season six, they they could do a lot with Bonnie in this season. We'll see. Ugh, I'm not going to get hopes up, though. Uh, Mariah asks, what are your predictions for season six of the Van Dyer? So predictions are, Elena's going to be all sad because Damon's on the other side. Maybe she's gotten back with Stefan. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Because it feels like when one of the brothers goes missing, she kind of hooks up with the other one for a little bit. And then the other brother returns, and then she's like, oh, I've missed you. <laughs> and then gets back with them. So, again, bit of a cycle there, but we'll see. Um, I assume Damon and Bonnie are going to be on, like, it's not the other side now. I don't actually know what it's called. Um, I mean, officially, we, I guess if we're going by the logic of the end of the season, it should be like, oh, that's the last we'll see of Damon and Bonnie. But it's just not going to be. <laughs> so, wherever they are, um purgatory we'll say they're in purgatory then it's going to be them trying to figure out how to get out and then people in the real world trying to figure out how to get them out and in some way and sure ends will meet and they'll figure out a way but that'll probably be the first third of the season i think they're going to drag that a little bit if it goes longer than a third of the season that'll depend on what they do um then it's going to be a bit mad i hope as well with this season that they have a better villain than marcos that was it i wanted to say enzo then i wanted to say silas and i was like no they were the two good villains of the season <laughs> marcos they he i mean he died so there's like he's gone for sure but um oh god just have a better villain than than that um what other predictions probably some characters dying and coming back in some way 
Uh, I think Elena and Stefan are probably going to hint at more this season than they. I mean, they kind of hinted at it last season a little bit. Uh, but I think Caroline and Stefan, potentially, they kind of had some little moments in season five. So I think potentially something might go on there. Um, Tyler will probably leave for a bit and then come back as well. Just the same thing. Just the same thing. But I hope just different season five, please. Uh, what was your favourite Delana moment? I'm a big Delana fan, so I'm curious. Hmm. It's hard with Delana because while I do like Damon, I do actually like Elena. I do like their relationship as well. I think Delana is a good ship. Um, but I felt like this was the weakest season Delana, the ship has been as well. In some way. I don't know. Like it did still have its moments. Like I think early on in the season when they were like at the dance and stuff, I thought it was pretty good. And then seeing like Elena kind of like da Damon seems to fit vampire Elena more. And early on in this season it felt like we were getting like a lot of Elena being a vampire. Um, I know she started that in season four, but it felt like she was really. It's season four, she was struggling with it. Season five, she was like really, uh, kind of come into it more, I guess. Um, so Elena made sense for Damon when she was a human. So yeah, I felt like chemistry wise, they're probably at their peak, maybe. But it felt like they had better moments and more romantic moments in previous seasons, if that makes sense. So chemistry wise, at their peak for sure. Um, and like the breakup, I know that was Catherine, but like them breaking up and Damon going off the rails, I felt like that was just kind of, that was like the last straw for me where I was like, ah, come on, we're just, more so with Damon though, because I felt like with Damon it's just like, okay, and I'll say this a billion times because it is the truth, but we're just going in circles with a lot of these characters and Damon I was no exception with this season as well. And I felt like that was like the biggest flaw with this season, which is like, Damon and Lane are doing the same thing, Damon's just done the same thing, character deaths, the same thing, Bonnie's doing the same thing. And it's like, oh, the bot, the villain. It's like, oh, God, just boring as hell. So, yeah, Delena, still good. I do still like them, but I've said, and I'll say again, like, the ships of this show is not why I watch it. Because um, if it was, then I probably would have stopped at this point because it's just none that really grabbed my attention. Like, I'm tr I've actually really tried to sit and think of a ship on the show to say it's like a lot of the genre is romance as well. I don't know. Like, it used to be Damon and Elena. For sure. Like seasons one to three and even four. You know, I'd, I'd say Stefan more so maybe in season one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They, they had some good moments, like say the dance at the start, um, them kind of breaking up, looking back. Like the scenes seeing them on the screen together, it's like they do have chemistry still. But part of my brain was like, oh, the actors actually broke up around this time. So that's kind of mad. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think it was this season where they weren't together anymore. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, we'll see. Emily asks, what are, you, what are you hoping for Caroline in Season 6? How do you think she can be redeemed from her Season 5 actions? How can she be redeemed? Actually own up to what she's done will be a good start. She kept trying to make out it wasn't that bad. Nah, it wasn't that bad. It, she's just trying to was like playing it off like she just kind of hooked up with some a bit of a bad dude. It's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. But she won't do that. Um, we'll see. Maybe she will. That'd be why. But that'd be a good start. What can she do? She needs to stop with this holier-than-thou attitude that just seems to be... She's always kind of had it, but I feel like it was balanced very well. Like, she'd have the holier-than-thou, but then it would balance itself back out. She'd have, like, a really good moment. It would keep the scales going. Whereas here, it's just all being, like holy than thou attitude to Elena, to Damon, to Stefan, to Tyler, which is wild. And that was all she was doing for like most of this season. Um, her whole attitude needs to just change up. I'm not saying she needs to be different to Caroline. Just go back to how she was in seasons one to four. Like she had good development. She was at a good point in season four. And then I felt like she hasn't developed at all in season five and she's just become completely annoying and just com completely oblivious to how annoying she's being as well which is the worst part uh so yeah just go back to how she was in season four like a hard reset keep all just like and then realize you're being a knob in season four that'd be a good start <laughs> but they won't do that because i'm sure they thought caroline was like amazing in season four or something um erin asks favorite three characters and least favorite three characters from each show uh, we will do the tier list so we'll definitely get to that uh, Ina asks, what was your favourite couple or almost relationship in all seasons? 
Also, you're doing Taylor's version red soon. Yes, Taylor Taylor Swift is coming. I've said in the group chat that we we have a whole chat on Patreon now, which is kind of cool. Uh, but uh, when I move out, it will be one of the first thing. Not the first thing I do. Not the first thing I do. But within the first couple of weeks of moving into there, and when I've settled in, I will get to it. Um, don't worry. As for the favorite couple, like I said, I, I just can't. I can't force myself to be like. There's none that stand out. Catherine and Stefan were kind of cool. <laughs> Stefan didn't know, but if I had to pick, I guess it would be Elena and Damon. But even that, I'm like, I'm just so done with at this point. Jeremy and Bonnie are boring. So boring. Like, I don't even, I forget they're in a relationship half the time, to be honest. Uh, Caroline and Stefan, like, almost relationship, you said. That could be there but caroline needs to do i like Stefan where he's at but caroline needs to do so much more to get to a likable point and then there's really no other relationship that i can think of so they're all kind of ass at the moment to be honest uh katie asks what's your theory on what happened to bonnie and damon there's a big white light so they've got a, they're not going to be in the, the real world that can't happen that'd be silly i'm going with like it's like some sort of purgatory limbo area where it can't be a place where like all the other dead people are at this is like got to be a new place because the other side's gone everyone else passed over from so i guess there'd be some people kind of where they're at some people who didn't manage to pass over so it wouldn't be like they're there alone but it would be a new place that no one's been to before i'd assume because the other side has never been destroyed so at least my assumption is that uh so yeah they're gonna they're gonna be somewhere else i don't know what it could be i guess we'll find out I'm, I, i'm actually i'll give the show that i am curious going into this episode where bonnie and damon actually are we might not even see them in this episode but like if we see them this episode maybe it'll be like the last scene it's like oh here they are because i wonder if they're going to try and keep it like oh are they dead that fear you know we all know they're not <laughs> um so yeah, they're definitely not dead. They're not on the other side. They're not going to be in the real world because that would be pointless. So it's going to be a new place, kind of like a like say limbo purgatory area is what I'm going to go with, which could be kind of cool, actually. But I'm, I am curious about that. Tom asks, how do you think season four and five compared to the first few seasons? Which was your favorite season? Mine season one because Anna and Lexi. Anna the goat. I miss Anna. And I do miss Lexi, but she was only in one episode. so uh, And she's popped up multiple times throughout this point. Uh, season four and five compared to the first few. I mean, seasons one to three would peak, especially season three. My favorite season is three. I feel like season one was really great. I think that would be the, my second. I don't know. I think for plot reasons, season three. For like the vampire diaries feel, romance feel, chemistry between characters feel, I'd go season one. And I think for, like, the characters, like, introducing new cat, Like, season two was really good for, like, the... For getting Elijah in there, for, like, mentioning the originals. And, like, the whispers of Klaus. Like, we never... Like, waiting for Klaus to pop up. And then he came in as Alaric for a little bit. And then Klaus was there in the last episode. So that sold really well for season three. Um, seasons one to three will peak. And season four was really, really good. Um, but season five is definitely being the weakest season that I've had by far. Because um, I felt like season four definitely had weak moments, but... It had a good villain, and I felt like it. It felt like we had like maybe one or two bad episodes, but then you'd get one or two pretty good episodes. So it all, again, kind of like with Caroline, it would balance out quite well. Um, with season, whereas season five just had too many kind of bland episodes. If season five was even just sixteen episodes, I think it would have been far better. I think it just went on far too long, and the villain was so bad. Um, Scarlet asks, out of all the creatures in the Vampire Diaries universe. What would you like to be? Vampire, werewolf, or witch? Did we answer this before? Or did we say which one would you want to date? <laughs> would you date a werewolf? I, I can't remember if we answered this before in the last one. Um, vampire, not a werewolf. I'm not breaking all my bones, so that's gone off the table instantly. Vampire would be cool, but the constant being hungry and having to feed is like the one downside i like the idea of just living a long time that's kind of cool i know you'll see all your loved ones perish okay that's kind of sad for sure but you can always go out whenever you want to it's like you can die when you're when you want to die 
to step out into the sun. Also, a vampire, a vampire. Do I have a one of those rings, sunlight rings? If not, then I'd be a witch. If I do have one of the sunlight rings, maybe vampire. But the constant hungry feel. I know they can eat like the fake blood and oh no, it's it's real blood. It's just in blood bags. It's not even fake blood. Uh, so yeah, they can have the blood bags. And I guess. I guess feeding wouldn't be so bad if you had gotten good at like feeding and then letting them go. Because then you could just do that, like, and just make them forget. You just do a little bit, let make them forget that's your dinner done. Um, but you can never have like, well, they can have like actual food, but it's just like it doesn't fill them up. So that's kind of sucks. Yeah. Whereas witch, you do have like a normal lifespan, so you still die at some point, and you just kind of get used constantly. Um, it also seems like witch is such a like stressful situation to be in everyone wants to use you for your powers people are passing through i know that's bonnie but it's like people are passing through you also got some ra- you seen ghosts at random point it's like no 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 i'd say vampire out of the three definitely not werewolf werewolf is easy at the bottom for me what is the good thing about being a werewolf one one night every two weeks you can take on a vampire okay cool but you also have to break all the bones in your body to turn and when you do turn into a werewolf, it's not it's not even that cool. I guess you live in the mountains. <laughs> uh, favorite season out of the Vampire Diaries you have seen so far, seasons one to five. Ranking will be three, one, two, four, five. That's my season's rankings. Uh, how does Davina rank among other... Wait, who the hell's Davina? <laughs> I genuinely don't know who Davina is. Who's Davina? Davina, Davina. Oh, wait, are we talking about the originals? Am I just. Div- oh, yeah, we're talking about the originals. I was like, who's Davina in, in the vampires? That's an originals question. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> uh, make a predict, and this is the final one. Make a prediction on how many resurrections slash fake out deaths you expect to see by the end of both series. Oh, my God. And maybe keep track of them from now on. It would also be great to see a tier list at some point of all resurrections rank from pointless to I can deal with that. That tier list is not a good idea. I felt like I would have it would have been cool to do the prediction at the start of the series if I had known in hindsight that there was going to be so many because I felt like we've had so many already. It's kind of pointless doing a tracking of how many we've done. So I'm not going to track it. But my prediction, Dame and Bonnie are coming back, so that's two instantly. Uh, did Alaric come back last episode? He did, didn't he? He officially came back. I can't remember. I think he did. I'm going to say for the rest of the series, for both shows, 15 more actual characters that get resurrected slash have a fake out death. 15 more. I feel like 20 is too many. I feel like 10 is too little. So 15. Um, so yeah, you guys can predict that. Oh, follow it and let me know if I'm right on that. Yeah, I've been called to do it. At the start, since the start of the show, we must have had genuinely 40. If you're doing all of the Vamp Diaries, all of the originals, resurrection slash fake out deaths, I would say 30 to 40. I don't think that's like so far off. Like, obviously, I've not finished both shows, so I don't really know. Maybe at this point on, there's not, none, uh, but I highly doubt that. <laughs> um,. It must be like maybe more so thirty than forty, but it's got to be around that, which is wild. Like most shows, it's like annoying when they do one, maybe two of that. But oh god! But yeah, anyway, that's all the questions. So we're going to jump into the tier list now, and then rank these nineteen characters. Thank you to everyone who asked a question, uh, and we'll do it again at the start of the next season. Right? Let's. I've picked the best picture for Matt. You're going to love this. Give me a second. All right, so we've got Goated, Fantastic, Really Good, Just Good, Mech, and Trash. This is the picture I've picked for Matt. That's me watching season five. <laughs> uh, where's me watching? That's me watching season... No, no one else is pulling like a good face, really. They just all look so stern. Jer- oh, yeah, let's get Jeremy with his apps out, of course. Uh, who do we start with? Let's get the boring ones out of the way. You know, trash and trash. Two of the most boring. Oh, and actually, you can go in trash as well. You were better than him. I guess you were better than those two. So they're the three new characters that were just absolutely trash. 
boring, not fun, had no interesting personality traits at all, very generic. Uh, the When she first came into it, I was like, oh, cool, a new witch. This could be kind of cool. No, no, instantly boring, instantly boring. He was even worse. Um, so, yeah, let's just get those three back-to-back-to-back trash characters. I don't think I have any other tr- truly trash ones. I feel like we'll work our way up with this one, actually. I don't usually do that. Usually I just pick a random character and go with it. But I'm going to go him. He's meh. Not quite trash for me. He had some boring moments, but I felt like he... His connection to him and like the whole experiment thing going on, I feel like gives him a bit of an edge uh, in terms of storyline-wise. Not in terms of character, because he's still a bit bland, as in, hence why he's in there. But for a storyline, I feel like it was pretty good. And then this is kind of like the better version of him, where we've seen the scientist villain a billion times, but it, it usually works pretty well. Uh, this guy kind of experimenting on Enzo and... Damon for so long and then I'm going back to him and uh, Damon kind of killing all of the family tree minus one for our generations. That is kind of cool. That is twisted. Uh, adds to Damon. doesn't add to his character. It just kind of makes sense with Damon's character that he's kind of doing that. Um, so yeah, that whole stuff going on, that was more so... Like I say, the first third was Silas. The second third was all the scientist stuff going on. The third third was the worst part, which was him. <laughs> um, and Catherine, I guess, would be in the second third as well. So the second third of this season was actually really good. I felt like the second third of this season saves it from being like a complete waste of time uh, because of Catherine and because he was actually pretty good. And then we got introduced to Enzo, uh, who was actually one of the better new characters I've introduced in a long time. Let's go... Ketsia was her name. Tessa, I think they called her a few times. She can go... Hmm. She's not really good, so we'll go just good. She's kind of better than him. I'd say she's quite close to there. I just wish she had a bit more. Like, a bit more to her character would have been quite nice. Uh, So, I'll say for now, like, she's probably not going to come back. But, yeah, she can stay in just good. Um, Kind of her versus Silas was good fun. It didn't... That felt like it didn't drag as well, which I liked about that storyline. It kind of... If anything, felt like it could have gone on a little bit longer in some ways um, with Silas and all that. So, yeah. Talk to Silas. Let's get him done. Hello, my shadow self. Is that what he says? Or something? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. And Stefan being trapped in that safe for months and months. That was a really cool start to the season, actually. Uh, Silas, pretty good villain, but I felt like we'd kind of seen it before. It's just like building on the doppelganger mythology and... We'd kind of had that with Catherine already, of course. But Silas was still pretty good, I'd say. He had a fun personality. I felt like he was... They were trying to make him just like Damon a little bit in some ways. Like, he's very sarcastic and doesn't care about human life. Just kind of kills on the whim. Uh, so he's very much Damon, but just kind of... It's like if Paul Wesley was playing Damon. That's what Silas felt like. But that isn't a bad thing uh, that we got to see that. So... I'll take Silas. Not amazing, not amazing, but he was he was just good. He was good. Uh, then I'd say next up would be... L- mm. Oh. Let, let's get Liz done. Let's do Liz. I'd say Liz is meh at this point. Just kind of bimbles around, pops... She's like the one parent left that pops up at random points. Elena's parents and aunt are dead. Bonnie's parents are dead. Jeremy's parents are dead. <laughs> Matt's mum's left and dad never showed up. Tyler's parents are dead. <laughs> uh, Damon and Stefan's parents are dead. Or actually, their dad's dead. We don't know about the mum, actually. Um, that's it. We never heard anything about their mum. Correct me if I'm wrong. If they've mentioned her, their, their mum, which they probably have, let's say they've said she's died, we've never seen a scene of her dying. There's something to point out. Um, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all they carry. Like, so all that's left is oh, Caroline's dad's dead. So all that's left is Caroline's mom. That is literally all that's left, other than Matt's parents, who no one gives a shit about. Uh, so that is kind of wild. But Liz just kind of pops up randomly. It's like okay, cool. You don't really do much. It's fine. Then I'd say, what was her name? Nadia. I'm gonna say, hmm. I did like Nadia, actually. She was pretty good. Uh, I liked her storyline with 
Catherine. I felt like that was really interesting that she was Catherine's daughter and that kind of came back around full circle with flashbacks that we saw in was it season two with Klaus hunting Catherine and all that. So I, I like that they kind of gave that full circle moment with the daughter. Um, and that they didn't like instantly connect, but they still had like some good moments as well. So I'm going to... I don't know. I'm torn between just good or really good with Nadia. I really liked the story, but I felt like her character wasn't the most interesting. She was good, but she wasn't super interesting. She could have been better, but she could have been far worse as well. So let's go really good. Let's go really good. Just. She just scrapes in there. Yeah. And then we'll go... Let's... Caroline is... I'm not going to say trash. That's a bit harsh. But I am... Uh, I just, she just out of all these characters like these three were boring but she annoyed me the most I mean you saw the reactions I'm assuming to season 5 no one annoyed me more than Caroline uh, her worst season by far my god I can't with some of the shit she came out with <laughs> and peop, not so much people in my YouTube comments and Patreon comments which was actually wild because I thought most people would jump on Caroline's side but I've seen like other reactions to the episode where she went in on Tyler and when Stefan like did he punch or slap Tyler around the face or whatever and everyone was defending Caroline in the in the comments I think I watched like three reactions to that scene and everyone was like yeah yeah Stefan punched Tyler in the face and I'm like am I delusional because <laughs> Tyler did not deserve to get slapped in the or punched in the face for that. Uh, like he, he, I don't feel like he crossed the line at all. And then everyone in the comments was proper like hyping Caroline up, and I'm like, oh, bro, no, 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 no. That ain't the one. Caroline's a knob. Stefan was a knob in that moment. Uh, Tyler is boring as all hell. Don't get it wrong. I'm not like a Tyler stan. Actually, if anything, we can get Tyler out of the way. Meh. At the top of meh, I'll give him that. But it's still very boring. Just does the same thing. He walks around with his muscles and then goes, Leave me be! Or whatever he goes. He just does stuff like that at random points and then that's it. But I like that he called out Caroline for her bullshit. I mean, it was obvious if anyone was going to do it, it should have been Tyler. Like when he finally said, like, Caroline, the guy killed my mum. She dr He drowned her in the fountain just outside of this building, actually. You can see it from the window. Uh... So, yeah, I like that he did that, but it was like, that was a given. If he didn't do that, that would have been wild. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Matt, the goat. The goat! He Matt's kind of like, he is the goat, and then he's also trash. It's like, one, it has to be one or the other with Matt, surely. Row below. Matt. Alcoholic. Yeah, he gets his own special tier. Because he's not trash. Because I am. Um, every time he's on screen, I have fun with him. I have, we have fun with Matt. But. He ain't the goat. <laughs> and he ain't anything in between. So it's like he's got to just. I don't like that this C has its own line. That really annoys me. Can we just call him like Matt Alcoholic without the brackets? Okay, we can call cool. Matt Alcoholic. That's like his like second name. That's his secondary name. Cool. Or his last name. Matt Alcoholic. Or Alcoholic Matt might work. We'll leave it at Matt, Matt Alcoholic. Um, yeah, he ain't trash. He ain't goat. He's just his own little thing. In his own little world. Crying. <laughs> Forever and ever. Does nothing. Just does absolutely nothing in the entire show. But somehow is in every single season. Wild. Um... <laughs> Let's go with Jeremy, Mr. Muscles. Uh, probably meh at the top. <laughs> what does Jeremy do? <laughs> I felt like they really tried with Jeremy in season four with like the hunter's mark and he's one of the hunters now, but then he just does nothing. I mean, the Van Diaries does this a lot where they just introduce this whole new aspect to a character, but then they do absolutely nothing with it after they finish with it. And I know sometimes Jeremy popped up and showed up, as we see here, showed off his muscles and did some hunter things, but it just feels like anything he could have done, even if he wasn't a hunter. <laughs> it's like, okay, thanks, Jeremy, for popping up again for nothing. Uh, let's go with Enzo. Really good, I'm going to say. Not quite fantastic. I felt like he kind of fell off a little bit in 
the second half of the season or like the final third but when he was first introduced all that stuff was like, I'd say he could have been fantastic and he very well still could be there's still time but uh, I think I think I need a bit more with him and like the whole I feel like the whole storyline of his girlfriend that he was going to meet up dying and Damon being the one to kill her was just like felt like such a forced way to cause tension between Damon and Enzo I just I, I don't know wasn't the best executed. The idea wasn't bad, but I felt like the way they executed it was a bit like, yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, Enzo, really good character, for sure. Like I say, one of the better new characters I've introduced in a long, long time. Um, let's go... Who's the worst out of these five? Probably Elena, realistically. I mean, she wasn't even in, technically. Uh, <laughs> Nina Debrev was, but Elena wasn't even in the second third of the season, really. I'd still say really good, though. I don't know, like, maybe Enzo's above Elena, realistically. She still has a whiny Elena moments, but... And I know Elena seems to be one of those characters that a lot of people hate, for sure. And I, I get it, she does do annoying stuff a lot. More so than, if you're talking about from seasons one to five, she's technically probably done the most annoying things <laughs> in that time. But she also has, like, really, really good moments. I feel like she does balance it out, unlike Caroline this season. She does balance it out quite well. Um... Yeah, again, though, she does go in circles a lot with, like, Damon. She's a tricky one, Elena. I feel like there's some episodes where I feel like she's really, really good. Then some episodes I'm like, oh, my God, what are we doing? So, uh, it's season five, though. She lost the house in the last season, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, she did, because I felt like that was when she was, like, <laughs> more was it like when Jeremy died <laughs> and then came back. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was season four. Um, That was a really good episode, that was. I'm torn. It's either just good or really good. We'll keep it there. Yeah. I can't put her below Nadia. Let's go with Stefunio. I'm saying top of really good. Not quite fantastic for me. Because, again, this whole, like, doppelganger stuff didn't grab me that much. Then him taking captive from Marcos was very dull. But he had some really great scenes with Catherine, some really great scenes with Damon... Uh, with Caroline, he admittedly did have some really great scenes as well. So he was good. Uh, but again, not his best season. If anything, his weaker season. I'd argue this is all of their weaker season apart from the character I'm going to put in Goated. You know that's going to be. Um, so yeah, we'll keep him there. Damon. Oh, this might be the first time Damon's kind of slipped down a bit for me. I'm still going to put him above Stefan, but only him really good for me. We're doing circles. Again, I'm repeating myself with all these characters, but he's doing the same thing. Oh, he went off the rails again. Oh, he's broke off with Elena again. Oh, he's argued with Stefan again. Oh, he needs blood again. It's like, okay, 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 okay. Oh, he's passed his corp to him again. <laughs> so like, all these individual things are really good, but it's just like all these individual things we've done before and better before as well. So, uh, yeah. Bonnie. I really want to put Bonnie in Fantastic, but she didn't do anything. I feel like as a character, she's fantastic, but as a story... Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> what did she really do? I mean, she died and came back, but <laughs> that's every character in the Van Dyers. Um, probably there. I still really love Bonnie, but it's th that's the writer's fault. Her being there is the writer's fault. Like she should be, she should be goated every single season. She really, really should. But she just didn't. She just doesn't do anything. It's so annoying. Uh, and then we have, like, the actual best character of the entire season, which is Catherine. She saves this season from being, like, really, really bad. Um, she saves it enough to make it a meh season. So well done for that. Um, her storyline was great. I love that she kind of took over Elena's body. It felt like it didn't drag. It actually ended at the perfect time. I was a little bit annoyed when they did the fake-out kind of, <laughs> again, fake-out death where she was dying on the bed. I mean, she didn't actually die at that point, so... Technically, it wasn't a fake out death, but it was because we had the whole episode building up. But it kind of saved itself because after that episode, she, she couldn't speak there. She only went on for another two episodes, or even just one episode after that. So it didn't. I felt like if she did the fake out death, then went on for the rest of the season, it would have been like, oh, that episode was a waste of time. Then, but they kind of. It felt like a final. I'm lying. I've completely just lied. That's not what happened at all. Right, season five, she was, she did her like all death scene, it was this episode, 
Episode 11. Then she possessed Elena for, for here. So there's quite a few episodes. So one, two, three, four episodes of possessing Elena. Still not too much. And then you can literally see the ratings dip off. Eight, I'll turn when Catherine dies. And then five, five, six, six, five, six, six. Oh my god, the second half, what we're we doing. Um, yeah. So, okay, she did possess Elena for a while, but I felt like it was cool. Her possessing Elena was so much fun. I feel like it was just the se- it was the season having fun with Catherine and Elena. Like, that that was cool, and it felt like a final hurrah. So, uh, yeah, Catherine can stay at the top. I'm curious how this is different to uh, the other seasons. The comedy tier list. I, don't, I mean, it's not actually that many. When you, I thought I was going to scroll on for a bit longer than that. Um, that's season three, and then where's season four? Four, season four there. Season four. Oh, it's done that thing. It does this sometimes. Yep. Ah. Oh. I know why it's done that. It's because it used to be you could just click off the tier list and it would save it. Um, but if you don't press the save thing now, then it doesn't. It doesn't save it. But it's all right. I can just go to my. They exist. <laughs> Forgot about these two. Tyler. Oh my god! What happened to her? Did she? Die? What happens? Oh my god, I completely forgot about her. She's gone off to originals, obviously. Kath, Caroline's pretty hard. Rebecca. I mean, all the originals now. Catherine. So Catherine's gone up. Um, Bonnie. God, it's such a shame. Elena's about the, Elena's about the same. Stefan's about the same. <laughs> Matt. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, cool. So there we go. That is the tier list for the Vampire season five let's jump into the first episode now guys uh appreciate you guys if you have watched the tier like i wonder if anyone actually watches these tier lists or if i'm just <laughs> filming them for myself um all right anyway guys let's do this previously on the vampire diaries the spell the travelers cast across mystic falls eliminates Crazy. spirit magic yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. look at that that is a trophy right there damon i know <laughs> Oh yeah, the Mystic Grill blew up. I can't find Damon. I'm not leaving without him. Answer in the comments, guys. Is Damon actually dead? Can we get a hell yeah? Do you think it'll hurt? I don't know. That was a cool end of like, cut to white. <laughs> what else did that lost? It was lost season five. Here we go, yeah, two people are about to die. Yep. <laughs> Waste no time. Surely it's like a joke, though. They're like parading themselves or something. Like My god, she sent him out. <laughs> sent her out there to check herself. <laughs> oh, fair play. Dead. Hey, I got the lantern. It's Liz. I thought you were a serial killer. Worse, actually, because you'll still be alive when I call your parents. Parents? She just looks like twenty-two, maybe. Melanie Peterson was arrested for underage drinking last week. Swear this place oh, is now they're gonna die. From Footloose. Oops, I've dropped my bag. Oh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ah, ah, ah. Jesse? <laughs> oh, she's gone already. Get zoinked. Yo, Jesse! <laughs> wow. Don't, 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 don't. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure out. Oh. What we got? What we got? What the hell was that? Was that Tyler playing pranks again? The future Dr. Elena Gilbert. Doctor? So, what the hell? Anyways, Mr. Weatherly complains of chest pain and shortness of breath. Can anyone she tell from? me what tests we run? Is she just from the... I swear she's just in the originals. I swear that's Kami. Am I being silly? That actually just looks like Kami, no? Here's the bedpan you need to know about today. Moving on. Does it not? Am I imagining that? It's not. Not be weird. What? That some ancient witch turned me into a vampire, or that four months ago I rose from the dead? I was been four You're my college professor. In Alaric's defense, he couldn't exactly compel himself a job back at. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how everyone sits. Still off limits to anyone with fangs. A lot of us haven't been back home in months. I mean, that's great. Realistically, everyone's. Looks happy. Right way down. There you go. Although I'm not oh, sure Matt. Matt got the Oh, Matt. Let out some anger. <coughs> Good move, Donovan. Prove it. 
Once again, that self defense is the best offense. He's on the attack, though. Who's Jeremy with Speaking now? of Jeremy. Actually, let's not talk about my brother. Let's talk about Stefan. Last I heard, he was chasing. <laughs> what is going on? So I could contact the oh, yeah, it was... hey. Stefan's a car mechanic in Georgia. We haven't spoken in months. Which can only mean that his search for answers to what happened has been all-consuming. <laughs> sure. At least it kind of feels like a hard reset. Oh my god, here we go. Go on, Caroline. Team. It's the opening game of the season, Caroline. You don't even like football. No. But I like drinking in the parking lot beforehand. Caroline, you're coming. I'm a tired of it's Like you have any ground to stand on? You skipped an entire year. And you hounded me for an entire year. So here I am. Oh no! Back here. You're Caroline, still in the show? 6 p.m. sharp tomorrow. They rehired him? Oh, God. Oh, brother. No, we're gonna go see a movie. We have spent the entire summer together. God, you're sick of me. Yes, that's exactly it. You just lost one of your best friends. For the third time. <laughs> ...has taken up residency on Planet Denial, where football is more important than her boyfriend being swept away into oblivion. Not really, Do you know Caroline. she's barely cried for him? She's cried enough! Caroline Alina has experienced more grief than anyone I've ever met. Thank you, Liz. Thank you very much. Thank you, Liz, for taking thy words out of thy mouth. Two kids were admitted to the hospital with suspicious wounds on their necks. The vampire dead? They weren't dead. Hey, don't forget your basket. <laughs> What do you think was going to happen? I think it's kind of good for Mystic Falls so that vampires can't get in. But I don't have to. Anyway, Question, I might find... I might sound... Wait, what? Can we go back to the part where Rick came back to life to be a college professor? <laughs> <laughs> what is this, like a dream? I might need some explaining, I might have missed some of that. Today we're going to discuss oh. it as it relates to... Resurrection. <laughs> Oh, and you're still Is here. Is there as something well. funny, Liv? Uh, more like ironic. Sorry, princess. Just trying to check what page we're on. I'm trying to listen. I'm sure you are. You were just taking the piss a minute ago. Yeah, lady, you know I could smell that, right? I'm teaching a class full of kids who all look like blood sausages to me now. Blood sausages? What the hell? Look. Hey, hey, I got hey my action. best friend, oh, no, yes. Really you asking me if there are side effects to the ancient psychotropic herbs I've been giving you? Because there haven't exactly been clinical trials. <laughs> well, obviously. Right, so there's some herb bullshit going on. Lena, I'm sorry that I wronged you. I'm sorry that I'm the reason your boyfriend is dead, remember? And I am. I'm sorry. So she's imagining him. Yeah, I know. And when I went against my coven's rules to get these herbs, because you asked. Right. But... Right. It's time to return to reality. Okay, it's not reality then. I'm by my place by five, okay? Elena. Thank you. That's some weird ass herbage going on, I guess. You're ripping me off, Dean. What you gonna do about it, kid? Oh, okay. ready, Dean. Quit. Run off to wherever the hell you came from. That's what I thought. Yeah, got him. You already read all that. Cover to cover. With no mention on how to all that. a magic force field. I brought... Ancient Witchcraft, Volume 2. I read it. Okay. <laughs> How about right. the art of hexing and elements of magic? Fine. Also for some random ass authors though, that don't know anything. He didn't say goodbye. Damon and Bonnie died and he just left. No phone calls, no emails. Just disappeared into thin air. I haven't heard from him in months. So you don't like how Elena's grieving and you don't like how Stefan's grieving? Well, understandably with Stefan, I think. Has a message at all. Why isn't Jeremy answering his phone? I don't know. He's probably doing homework or something. Doing homework? Is he a gamer? Your place. What's he playing this time? Jeremy, I know you can hear me. Get your butt off that couch and do something productive. He's playing Gears of War again. Is that like the only game he plays? He's playing that in season two. Sucks that Bonnie's dead, Jer. I get it. But you need to start living your life again. How? By joining the community protection squad? What exactly are you protecting us from? <laughs> like theft, litter? So it's only a matter of time before dealing with all the problems that come along with vampires again. Why reverse it? Leave it be. How selfish do you have to be to try and reverse that? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, Jer. You're not much of anything anymore. Right, Matt, that's rich coming from you. I'm sorry. That is real rich coming from you. Dana, you're going through this stuff like crazy. Yeah. I'm not a drug pusher. No, you're my friend. 
My friend, <laughs> oh, I guess. despite the fact that my boyfriend got stuck on the other side. Elena. Stop. Where is it? Look oh, dude, Elena is is it? Is storyline. I need to see Damon. Is it actually Damon or is it just like a vision of him? Like a rec I think it's like a recreation of him. How long do you think it takes after somebody comes back to life before they can start dating again? Well, the fact that you can say that with a straight face is one more reason. I think it's just like she's visioning so, him. Like, <laughs> Three months? You know, if I had to drive around with everyone that I've lost, I need a school bus. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting she wouldn't pick her parents to see. Oh, no. Watch it, dick. Watch it, nerd. Oh. Are you sure somebody with your anger issues should be drinking at all this close to a fall? He still has anger issues, still. My issues are under control. We're going back to season one, Tyler. they do something stupid and trigger your werewolf curse all over again. Alert. Chill. So he's not a werewolf anymore, then. Oh, we're doing this story. Okay. Your fridge makes me want to kill myself. I'm gonna have to split this. <laughs> Jesus. Knock yourself out. So. Sure. You want to grab dinner? I told Dean I'd stop by the garage later. Yep. Never heard that one before. Oh. So we'll play a game. You tell me one thing about you, and I'll tell you one thing about me. Wolf is not interested in you at all. From Colorado, um, you love dogs. Cool. Now tell me something I don't know about you. I'm a vampire. <laughs> Start with that. I'm a vampire. <laughs> I was a serious, Stefan. You're Stephen. so annoying. I was joking. Thank God, someone over 20. <laughs> The rest of the chaperones are huddled around the burger bar. Okay, she don't look exactly like Cammy, but it could be like Cammy's sister or something. Okay, so when I lost my human nature, I also lost my game. You never had game. Mm, I guess you kind of did. It's been a while. What's this? It's someone on the side of the road. Hey. Are you okay? Depends. Am I still in the Western Hemisphere? If she sits in that seat then, does she sit on Damon? Where are you headed? Mystic Falls, my GPS died, and then I started second guessing myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't waste any time then. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is Caroline here? It's not how. No! Just do your little. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Good job! Yeah. Pelled everyone else. Whoa, 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 hang on. So you're the border lurker? The what? Imagine it, jump out trees. Empire Prowler? The herbs Luke's been giving me, they make me so thirsty. Maybe you should stop taking them, I don't know. Is this what you've been doing this whole time? Hallucinating your dead boyfriend? I tried to grieve him, Caroline. You've tried, it's been three months, so you didn't try that much. There are better ways to get through this. Like what? Like dropping out of school and having picnics with my mom near the town border? Oh. Matt's on the case! Wow, she had to walk this far into Mystic Falls to get help. Like, in the town centre. Matt just breaks her neck quickly. Ah, uh, she died, guys. I protect my friends. Uh, this girl was attacked. I'm not sure we're getting the full story. Oh. Matt, get her to the hospital now. No, Go. you're not listening. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? We need to talk to her. Oh. We didn't even ask her what happened. She's just being dragged into the car. Stefan and his groceries. You ain't got the, that bad of a place. Drinking the booze, turning to Matt Donovan. Hello. Stefan, is that you? No. I, I know it's been a really long time since we talked, but... Elena, hey. I need you to tell me that you found something. A witch. A guy who knows a witch. A... <laughs> He's just been having sex and fixing cars and drinking beer. I need you to give me hope and tell me that you're going to find Damon and bring him back. Just so. okay. Tell me what you're doing to get through this because I'm clearly um, doing it wrong. He thinks. I need you to give me hope. Because I don't think I can live forever without him. You know what? I guess it. No, I gave up. You just said that you were looking for him. Well, we didn't. I realized it was pointless and that I needed to move on with my life, so. Gave up rapidly. Fair enough, it had been a year, it's three months. <laughs> when you think of how much they fought for, like, other things, for how long was it also? Okay. It's time for you to say goodbye to. No. Damn. Yeah, I get, this is a different way of Elena dealing with grief. It's like, it doesn't feel like we've seen her 
like this before with grief, which she's gone, as she's mentioned, through a lot. So, yeah, at least it's different. I'll take that. Do you know Elena has some witchy drug problem? Oh, yeah, go on. Go on, Caroline, get out of your system. It's a hallucinate demon. Whoa, slow down. What? Yeah, it gets her all bloodlusty. Why is telling Tyler gonna help this situation? As long as Luke keeps playing witch doctor, she's not gonna get any better. Let me deal with him. Let me deal with him. Yeah, go on, you deal with him, Tyler. Sarah, stop, please. You're not still driving her to the hospital. Stop. Sarah. You start. I'm not gonna hurt you. You kidnapped me. You start driving her to the hospital in the afternoon. It is now nighttime, Matt. That's you. Oh my god. Oh wait, she has been the okay. count. <laughs> I've had my throat ripped open. I don't trust anyone. Yeah, that's fair. Ever. <laughs> Wow, that was why. so loud for no reason. For zero reason that was that loud. Have you seen Elena? She's not coming. Apparently she's not in her right mind. Wait, what happened? Oh god, Tyler. Buff your chest out. She almost killed someone. You're drunk. Okay, touch me. Okay. Where's your magic now, partner? What's wrong? You can't chant? It really is season one, Tyler. Oh my god. Knock it off! I get it Knock it off, bro! You got it under control, huh? Huh? You wanna tell me what that was about? Is Tyler stupid? Come on, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, I've just been free of being a werewolf, but I'm gonna complete out like a bell end again, even though I really should have some form of control over this by now. It's been six years. I never got to say thank you. For what? Oh. For saving Stefan and bringing back Lark and Tyler. Oh, yeah, do, 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 do. All that, to be fair, in about five minutes. I could ever want, other than for it to last forever, but I can't. No, oh, she's actually, yeah, if she says goodbye now, then that's way sooner than I thought it was going to be. I thought she'd be doing this for like three hours. This is the last time I'm going to see you. This is goodbye, Damon. I like that if that is just like a one episode thing. God, every time they care, I just can't help but think that they broke up and. Uh Yeah, because I guess she's been doing this. Wait, she's, he's not gone. Um, you're still holding on. Stop it, stop it. You're getting in my head. Just don't do this, please. You're going to feel it forever. No! Please, not the camera, man. Oh! More Elena trauma. <laughs> God. Nina de Brev must be so sick of having to, like, just be in trauma mode the entire time. <laughs> Is that real, Damon? Uh, probably not. Oh, very good scene though. Very good scene. Okay, <laughs> cut to that. Really? It's not Luke's fault that your friend's emotionally blackmailing him to fulfill whatever mental headcase crap she's going through. Grief. <laughs> ah, yes, grief. The rest of us lost people because of him. I'm aware of that, Tyler. <laughs> I guess. Because of their own actions, though, as well, let's be honest. Four months ago, I could do anything. I could make anyone do anything that I wanted. I was stronger Not than really. most people on this earth. And then it went away. And all that's left inside of me is rage. Does he miss it? Okay, good. Good luck dealing with it. Why do you do that? Why would you want anything to do with you, Tyler? Walk away? What would you like me to do, Tyler? His face! Oops. <laughs> Was I that obvious? <laughs> and if you ask me, Tyler's just hiding it with more, pretending everything's fine as if he can outrun his werewolf gene or something. Yeah, he'll be a werewolf in about three more hours. <laughs> There's an invisible wall standing between us and them. And nobody's God, doing to anything static. about it. Fun. Part of me wonders oh, no, if he'll about... never find a way back in. Oh, no. Jeremy's an alcoholic as well, oh my god. And there's me, just sitting at a diner on the border of town. Being holy than thou still. Until you pick up the phone, and I hear your voice, and you tell me that you are going to help me fix it. Caroline. Because I'm not going to give up oh, on no. this. Wow, look at that editing. Very cool. Message deleted. Oh, okay. I guess that deletes the message in some way. Do you like being a vampire? 
Why don't you get some sleep? Because it looks so different though. That was what I was season two. I promise that love could be eternal. And I had that with Damon. Did you? You broke up like four times last season. Trust me, it gets easier. I know how death works, Rick. Trust me, I've done it. We <laughs> know you, you have mentioned do that five times this episode. You were created by the original vampire spell, which means you can compel other vampires. Yes, and yes. Since I can't take away my vampirism. Oh, compel me to forget about Damon. I want you to take away Damon. Yep. We're doing this. She's done this three times. Forgot about Jeremy. Forgot about their loving Damon in season two, I think. Yeah. Don't do this, please. We just did this last season. We don't. <laughs> They look nice. Oh, real Damon. Lumberjack Damon. Where are we? Damon and Bonnie, husband and wife. Oh. Every day I tell you I hate that. And every day I do it anyway. Where are they? My prediction was right, by the way. We see them at the end of season one. I mean, technically we saw Damon throughout the episode, but it wasn't the real Damon. It was just Ian Summerhold. <laughs> All right, yeah, there we go, guys. That was episode one of The Vampire Diaries season six. Pretty good episode, actually. I feel like there's a lot they can do with this season. I'm going to need a bit more for sure. Um, but that feels like it's a good starting point for the season. Like, it's got some interesting ideas and stories. Again, some things in there I feel like we're just kind of... Like, if Elena does choose to forget about Damon, that's going to annoy me. Because, again, good idea... But we did it with Jeremy, not last season, but the season before. So it's been done before, and she's been compelled to forget things a billion times. So, and we know it probably gets to a point where then it's like, then she remembers, and it all comes back to her, and all the grief, or she remembers when Damon eventually comes back. So, um, we'll see. But that was that little bit at the end is just like a bit like, eh. Um, her kind of using these herbs, like their form of a drug, to kind of see Damon. It's not the real him, but just kind of see him. I like that it was just a vision of him, it wasn't the real him. Um, so that was interesting as well. I like that. It felt like she kind of wrapped that up this episode because I thought when it's introduced, it's like, oh, we're gonna we're we gonna get like drug addict Elena for five episodes. Um, but it did feel like she kind of wrapped that part up at least in this same episode because they mentioned at the start of the episode that she's done it a few times up to this point as well. So uh, yeah, that was pretty good. And like I said, a different way that we're seeing Elena handle grief, which. I'm glad about it, even though it's not the most interesting. It was just like, at least it's different. At least it's something different. Uh, they're all kind of dealing with it very differently as well, which is interesting. Like, they're all doing their own thing. Like, Jeremy just sitting and playing games, hooking up with people, getting drunk. Matt taking self-defense classes. Stefan ignoring everyone and going off to some random place. Caroline doing her thing. <laughs> uh, Tyler working out, not being able to control his anger issues. Like, Alaric um, kind of on the surface handling it well but maybe not so much uh behind the scenes as well i mean he kind of said that to elena in some way at the end and then elena dealing with it in the way we saw as well so yeah i like that they're all going through a different process at the moment and they're all doing their own thing which i think is interesting it feels like a hard reset in some way uh so yeah pretty good episode i won't say great but this was better than any episode we really got in the second half of season five so that's something at least so i'll go uh I think a 7.3, 7 7.4 out of 10. I think it was a mostly good episode. And like I say, uh, intrigued to see what they do with the rest of the season. We didn't see Enzo at all that episode, did I can't remember if he, he got through the other side, so he should be somewhere. I don't think they mentioned in this episode. I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know thought the episode down below in the comments. Patreon will be down below if you do want to join us over on there. I'm not sure exactly what episode we'll be on, um, but it should let you know. It might be like episode ten or something of season six, but it'll let you know what episode in the pinned comment and just um, and description. Yes, I don't know why I was like, do I put it in the description? I do indeed. So it, one of those two. But I'll see you next time for episode two. Until then, take care. Peace.